Hello there, everyone. It's Colleen Cedric with Pet Nanny Coach, and I'm here with April Leach, a VIP dog walking and pet sitting in Arkansas. Arkansas, right? Yes. Yes. Hi, April. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. I'm so happy you're here and you are willing to talk about your experience in the Multiply Mastermind. So you had an interesting kind of unique situation where you owned a pet sitting business in another state and then you moved and now you're kind of relaunching your business. Is that correct? Yes. Where was the original business? In Florida. It was South Florida. South Florida, right. So now you're kind of starting from scratch, but you want to set it up in the right way where you were just telling me how this was the first holiday in a while that you've been able to spend with your family because you spent all the other holidays working in the business down in Florida. Yes, it yes. was a very chaotic. I never got to relax. Yes, okay. So now you're starting VIP uh, dog walking and pet sitting in Arkansas, and your goal was to get everything set up the right way so that you are not the bottleneck in your business. Can you talk a little about that, what your goal of um, the program was? Um, I just wanted to have systems in place. I was letting my business run me before, um, where clients would call and I would drop everything I was doing and I would be there and it was just a constant letting them, okay, see how much I would work. And then when I would then, the, the holidays would be over or summer would be over, then I didn't have an income for a little while or it was like, yes, it's a break, but there's no money coming in. Um, so I wanted one of the biggest goals was to stop that, get that to where it was consistent um, and it gave me more time to actually hire people to work for me instead of me doing everything all the time. Right, right. So it's kind of what I talk about, that feast or famine type of marketing that a lot of pet sitters go through where they're really busy and then they don't have any income. Then they're really busy and they don't have any income. Where um, I teach in the Multiply uh, program is creating a marketing system where you're constantly doing your marketing regularly and systematically through automation and other online and offline outlets where you're going to constantly be bringing in a stream of new business. So in terms of the marketing that we talked about in Multiply, you, you're working on your new website. So what's the, what's the website URL where people can find you? Um, VIP dogwalks.com. Right. And we are uh, putting on there for you your irresistible free offer. What's, what's that going to be? Um, $25 off um, your first service. Right. And that's to incentivize people to, and it's time sensitive, right? So it's going to, the coupon expires. So the goal is to incentivize your prospects to becoming paying customers by the end of, um, of that campaign. So that's exciting. You're going to have your new website. You have, what other systems have you put in place then for the business? Um, I'm using Active Campaign to, to send out emails. So instead of just knowing, okay, eventually people are going to book, which was always right before the holiday, um, I can send them out reminders saying, hey, the holiday is coming up a month, you know, in advance and have them book. Um, so I know what's coming and yeah. I don't have to be surprised. <laughs> So stay in touch marketing. Um, yeah, the holiday reservation reminders automation campaign that I gave you, that's one of my favorites because it incentivizes those and reminds people. I, I always tell everybody I own a pet sitting business and I never remember to book pet sitting for my own dogs. It's like terrible. But that's what this campaign is to do, to remind your current customers to book from you and let them know when the reservations are coming up. Mm. All right, so that's great. Um, let's see. How, do you remember how you came to hear about me and Pet Nanny Coach? Um, Originally, because I knew I was going to be moving and I knew I was just burnt out. So I said, you know what? I need to find a better way to restart my business. And so I Googled just a pet sitting coach, ah. you know, a business coach of, you know, I actually have hired coaches before for, I actually hired a mom coach because for my kids, oh. I was going crazy. So I was like, well, she had strategies and things and helped me figure out how to get my kids better to listen, you know, listening to me better. So this would probably work in my business as well. Um, and then I just started, you know, following your Facebook page and I ended up buying your first, um, like business thing that you had. 
The home study um, system. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I started going through that, but I found that that doing it on my own, um, I was able to put it down and there was no kind of follow through. So when I saw the multiply um, on there, I said, you know, this will keep me accountable for what I'm doing and get everything done, um, which is what I needed. Right. So in multiply, we have a course curriculum that, you know, we're covering each and every week. We have a community of other like-minded petpreneurs um, that, you know, you're, you hold each other accountable. Did you have an accountability buddy this time in the program? Yes. Who was yeah. your buddy? Um, Carla. Oh, good. Yeah, she's a good one. And yeah. did that help, you know, keeping each other accountable for the assignments? It did. Um, and it's, it was funny because she has a lot, much larger business than I was. So I was nervous at first going, oh my gosh, we're not in the same place. But I had more time to implement some things. And that encouraged her to get on the ball to get more stuff done. Yeah. And then seeing her business as far as her clients and how she was growing it gave me ideas. Okay, what I want to be doing. Um, so it worked out really well. That's good. That's great. So what did you enjoy most about the mastermind? Um, really, I liked connecting with other pet sitters. Um, that the biggest thing is a lot of times you try to explain people your business and they don't understand. Yeah. Um, so they, they're like, well, why don't you just do this and you'll get lots of clients and you're going, well, because that doing that gets me clients an hour away from where I'm trying to, you know, do my business or, or anything like that. Um, so that was really good that people understood exactly yeah. what you're going through. Um, and then being in the class, it, you know, keeping it on task to see all the things that, um, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. My mind is like going, I'm going, oh my gosh, there's so oh, much. Oh gosh, don't even worry about it. Okay, um, good. So was it, were there any surprises um, in the program that you were surprised, like, you know, any unexpected surprises about being part of the mastermind? Um, a lot of it was the digital and the technology aspect. Yeah. I didn't, I knew that, because when I first started my business, advertising was going door to door, you know, hanging flyers, talking to everyone, wearing t-shirts, putting magnets on your car. And, you know, that's how I grew it. But I know now it's going more digital. You're going to online marketing. You're going to everything systemized. You can do it from your computer. Um, and I didn't really have a clue how to do that stuff. So I was surprised that there was so much that you have online and, and all of that as far as marketing and just systems in place that that really surprised me. <laughs> yeah, I think most pet sitters don't understand the online aspect of the business anymore. I, I think a lot of people start their businesses because they love animals and they want to spend time with animals and they want to make money doing it. Then it comes, you know, what happens is like you get stuck working in the business, your business grows, then you have no life, you know, the whole, the whole trajectory of a pet sitter. Um, but what they don't understand is how to, one, remove themselves from the business, and then two, leverage technology to free up more time and more energy. And technology is meant to make you money, but everyone's like scared of technology. But if you take the time to learn it, you can really leverage it to do great things for, you know, yourself and your business. So I'm glad that you embraced it. Yes. Um, you're somebody, I tell everybody that I speak to about the mastermind, like this is not something that you want to invest in if you're not going to show up and take action. Like you are an action taker, you and your accountability buddy, which is what I love. Um, showing up, showing you're at every single class, you ask questions, you um, were engaging in the Facebook group, you did the assignment, you know, you're, you're still working your way through some stuff, which is absolutely fine because you have access to all the information for as long as you need. Um, but it was just like a true, true pleasure having you in there. You are like a valued member. I really loved it. Thank you. So thank you for that. Um, so what would you tell anybody that was interested in possibly joining the mastermind? Um, it, it was probably the best thing that I've ever done for my business. Wow. I know doing this here myself, I would have probably started the same way and only been able to get so far. 
and that I know I would have been in the exact same situation where now I can see my business expanding, not just in this area, but in other parts, because I'm in Little Rock, um, Arkansas now, but to other parts of Arkansas and bigger, and I can see it, you know, doing that and how to hire people. Um, you know, that was a fear that I had was, okay, I've hired someone in the past and they didn't work out, but I can't just stick to that mindset. I need to say, okay, well now I have to have better systems in place and training and things that I had never thought about before. Um, yeah. Hiring. So yeah, that is one of the big pieces of my multiply program is your hiring system, your, um, your first your center attraction system, then your hiring system, then your onboarding system. There's a lot of working pieces and all of that. But you know, when you get that up and running, you're going to be able to bring on really great people and you don't have to be scared anymore. You know, we've all made the mistake of bad hires, but, um, the systems that I've taught you guys really helps minimize that. So that's, that's good. Yeah. I had someone, you know, they asked me cause people ask me all the time, well, what do you do? Cause I'm home and in and out and they're yeah. like, what do you do for work. Um, and someone goes, Oh, I, Oh, I would love to work for you. And, and this and that, you know, when you, you need to hire someone and I know she's not a good candidate and you don't want to say no, but right. I'm like, Oh, well you could fill out an application on my website. Yes. And so I can send her there and yes. I can, her resume and everything and, and judge as far as based on actual merit not just oh I really like you as a person yeah but you're a fit for the job yeah you so. know what you're looking for when you're trying to hire people now so these people are like oh I can do that when I feel like it well no it's not really it doesn't really work that way this is like a job <laughs> and there's certain requirements that I'm looking for and details about you that I'm looking for so good yeah, and that's the key to all of this is figuring out how to delegate, you know, what you're doing in your business to other people, leveraging yourself through a team, but they have to be excellent people because they're out the ones representing your business. So I'm glad you got a lot out of that portion of the program. All right. So we, uh, you're also continuing on in my scholars program, which for those that don't know, that's my um, program for my mastermind graduates. And we have our 90 day planning session tomorrow. So I'll be very excited to see you on there. Um, thank you again so much for meeting with me today and being such a valued member of the mastermind. I can't wait to see all that happens for you this year. You're awesome. going to do great thank things. So I know it. Yes. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Thank you, April. Thank you. Take care. Bye.